bothers me and Lois's old man have never gotten along. Hey, I got an email from Mr. Pewterschmidt. Hi, can I take my tie off yet? Oh, Peter, you look so wonderful. You aren't nervous about meeting Daddy, are you? Oh, you'll know when I'm nervous. Lois? <laughs> now, Lois, take the rap for this. I only get one chance to make a first impression. Hi, Daddy. That was me, and this is Peter. Hey, Mr. Pewterschmidt. What, what are you feeding this gal? Huh? Peter Griffin, can I take this freaking tie off? It's a pleasure, Peter. My daughter is quite taken with you. And I'm taken with her. I mean, look at us, huh? Yeah, show us front and back there, Lois. Uh, yeah, don't think I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> That's some world-class juice you got brewing in the old flesh balloon down there, Carter. Huh? Huh? Okay. I'm gonna go get my purse. All right. Hey, yeah, but, but based on what you've seen with your wife, what, what can we expect in terms of droopage here? We talking a slight slope of the full-blown fried eggs hanging on a nail thing? Peter, what do you think of this bronze statue? It's nice. It's early Etruscan. Oh, get out of here. No, seriously. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Bonjour, Monsieur Peter Schmidt. Did Peter have a stroke? No, Daddy. Peter's cultured himself, like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. Oh, so I should treat him like a high-class whore. That's fine. Just no kissing on the lips. Ahoy, Mr. Peter Schmidt. <laughs> uh, permission to come aboard? No. Thanks. Hey, quite a schooner you got here. Uh, what is she, like a, a 45-footer? Well, Peter, I didn't know you were a sailor. I didn't know you looked so good in shorts. Ow! What? Oh, you don't have an eye spliced in this mooring line. Here, I'll just tie a bowling in there and make one for you. That's it, Holder. Gentlemen, this is Peter. He's the idiot my daughter married. Michael Eisner. Bill Gates! Uh, Bill, Peter's an antitrust lawyer with the Justice Department. No, oh, just kidding. He's a fisherman or some stupid thing. I see your bet, Carter, and I raise you CNN. Oh, I don't think I can... Wait, wait, wait. You can beat him, Mr. Pewter Schmidt. He's bluffing. Peter, he just bets CNN. There's no way he's bluffing. I'm sure he is. He's got to tell. Listen, if you lose this hand, I'll divorce your daughter. I'm in. All right, Teddy, I'll see your CNN with U.S. Steel. What do you got? Two pair. Ace high straight. You sold me out. I could use a man like you. How's a million a year sound? You disgust me. Get out of my face. Here's a picture of... Oh, oh uh, ne never mind that one. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Oh, that, that was nothing. Just some fellow we fed and took care of in exchange for doing a few chores. You mean a slave? Let me see that. Oh, my God. It's Nate Griffin. Well, about time for me to be hitting the old dusty trail. Lois, your family owned my family. Daddy, is that true? Well, it appears so. Boy, this is pretty embarrassing. Yes, it is, and don't call me boy. Peter, please calm down. Babs, I think it's time we went to bed. Things will look better in the morning. Come here, kids. Give Grandma and Grandpa a kiss goodnight. Whoa! Uh, ah! You can whip me all you like, white devil, but you'll never break my spirit! There's gotta be a ton of fun stuff we could do. Ah! All right. Oh, man, there's a toll booth. Hey, anybody got a quarter? What's a quarter? Well, we gotta give him something. <laughs> Man, looking up at the sky just makes you feel so small. Yeah. I mean, if God created all this, who created God? Maybe he created himself. Or herself. Oh. oh. Think about that. Neat. This guy's deep, Carter. Where'd you find him? He's my son-in-law. Okay, honey. I gotta go. You want a ride? Sure. And this is a 74 Pinot Noir. Mmm, lovely. Carter, did you tell your son-in-law he's not supposed to swallow the wine? Hey, hey where, where the hell is that Peter Griffin? He said he'd give me $100 if I took off all my clothes off. We're not going fast enough. Loser! What did he say? <whistles> Hello? I said you're a loser! Who is this? Good morning. Peter, what on earth are you wearing? It's a dashiki. And don't call me Peter. That's my slave name. From now on, 
Call me Kichwa Tembo. Cool. And I'll be Mambutu O'Malley. Peter. Kichwa. Uh, I'd like to have a word with you. Peter, I think. Kichwa. <sighs> Kichwa, we're both sensible men. There must be something I can do to make things right with you. Actually, there is. I want reparations, just like Cleveland got. What the hell are you talking about? I want an apology and some Rice Krispie treats. Well, I absolutely will not give you an apology, and I'm assuming Rice Krispie treats is black slang for money, so here's $10,000. And I expect you never to mention this ugly business again. $10,000? Not enough? Fine, make it twenty. dollars How do you spell Kichwa? Yeah, you know what? Screw the Kichwa. Make it out to Peter, P-E-T-E. -E. Hiya, Mr. Peter Schmidt. Peter, I see you're still fatter than holy hell. Ah, you can read me like a book. <laughs> A big race is tomorrow, huh? Bet you're gonna need some big strapping men to help you with your boat. Are you calling me gay? No, no, I just I just thought you might want some extra semen on your uh on on, on your poop deck. Of course I do. I just want you to be happy. This is ridiculous. No daughter of mine is going to be happy. Excuse me, Carter. I think I owe you this. That's for giving me a book last Christmas. You're rich, you jerk. Well, Lois, I guess you should go ahead and get back to your party.